So how much energy are you using right now? Do you even know? Well, we picked this post-apocalyptic rusty chain link fence location to illustrate a point. How smart are you about electricity? Well, look, yeah, you can see the wires here going into the substation and then all the little wires going out from this place to the businesses and residences that make up this neighborhood here in uh, California. But besides electricity, there's something maybe even more important buried in all these wires. It's information. I mean, what if you could somehow plug into this facility and figure out who's using what energy at what time and how much? And then what could you do with that information? How would it change the way you use energy? Well, we're gonna meet somebody who has an answer to that question. So Joe Palastri, co-founder of Scintilla Corporation. Why is it that we don't know that much about the energy we consume? Well, the problem is your meter only tells you when you get electricity uh, over the course of an entire month. So you get your bill and you look at it and you say, hey, wait, what actually used that electricity? Was it my fridge? Was it my dryer? You don't know. And what you really need is granularity to know exactly where and when your energy is consumed. So inside of here is actually a, a small computer. Uh, you can see it's about the size of a quarter, and it runs until a software to be able to analyze the energy that's being used uh, on the plug. So you can see the plug here right. where you plug in your appliance, and the power actually passes through uh, to the other plug, which then goes into your wall and you plug your appliance into this. And what that does is then wirelessly transmit all of this energy information back to the internet. And you go to a web page and it, it shows you in real time, here's all of the energy you're consuming. Here's some recommendations of how you might want to reduce your energy use. And here's the trend so you know if your energy use is actually increasing or decreasing over time with the changes that you're making. All right, so Joe, this is a lot like a regular home where you've got a lot of junk and a bunch of wires and power strips and you've got things plugged in. This is your little brainy meter device that's gonna figure out how much energy I'm using. That's right. I'm gonna plug in my laptop. You know, how much does that use? Can't be much. There, look at that, it's going up. What if I watch a movie? Oh, so it's now, going up more. Now you're up to 35 watts. We haven't even started your movie. Till this moment. I had no idea how much energy I was using for the right. laptop. Absolutely. I just figured, well, laptop, you know, it's not that much. <laughs> but in fact, everything that I do causes that to go up. All right, let's 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 break the bank here. Uh, we got a little space heater, right? Yep. Kind of cold, it's chilly. In here, I'm gonna just uh, warm myself up. But as it warms up, you'll see that it starts to use more and more energy. So here oh, you whoa. see, we're now up at- Now we're spiking. Almost 2,000 watts now, costing you almost $2,000 a year to run this. So this feels kind of dollars. good. This feels kind of good, but looking at that, that hurts. Oh yeah, it's gonna hurt your wallet a lot more. Is that what we call incentivizing? I, I hope so, because if this is not an incentive to reduce your energy use, you know, I really don't know what is. Joe, this is my favorite part, because we've got these like cafeteria tables here pushed together, we got wires all over the place, but on this table with all these little lights flashing on these circuit boards and plugs, is kind of the baby being born here. This, this is a representation of what it would be like if, I guess, 100 appliances were reporting at once to the network, right? That's exactly right. We have all of these computers here communicating with each other, and you can see how they all connect to each other. And, and as they scale up, they use each other to get their information back so that we can do something with it. The idea of, of Scintilla's software and the energy manager is you look at what's going on at a very fine granularity, and then you boil it up level by level to your street, your home, uh, the city, you know, et cetera, state, and, and eventually across the country know exactly what's going on throughout the energy grid. So I'm seeing about 24, 25 nodes here. You say it could work at 100 million? I, th I think that's exactly what I'm saying, and that's what we need to get to.